Hello guys, welcome to Cruise Control. According to the latest report by Team BHP, the seven-seater Jeep Compass has been spotted testing once again in Chakan near Pune. However, the test mule seen in these images looks identical to the one spotted last year. Also, as seen from the new set of spy pics, the rear part of the seven-seater Compass test mule seems to have been heavily reworked. The rear part now comes with a new set of wheel archers, more exaggerated than on the standard SUV. The seven-seater version also now comes with a new D-pillar and a rear quarter glass as well. Jeep could also slightly rework the rear profile of the SUV, to better match the increased dimensions and the overall look of the extended seven-seater version. The front of the test mule has been heavily camouflaged, which could indicate a significant update to the front end. This could mean that the seven-seater Jeep Compass could feature a new set of LED headlamps, front grille, bumper and bonnet design. In terms of dimensions, we do expect the wheelbase of the seven-seater Compass SUV to be slightly increased as well. This will help improve space for the third row seating. However, these details are yet to be officially confirmed. Mechanically, the new Jeep Compass seven-seater is expected to carry forward the same 2-liter diesel engine. It produces 173 bhp of power and 350 newton meters of peak torque, paired with either a 6-speed manual or a 9-speed automatic transmission. For the patrol-powered SUV, some reports suggest that the company could be considering introducing the brand's international spec 1.3-liter turbo patrol engine that produces 130 bhp of power when mated to a 6-speed manual and churns out 150 bhp of power when offered with a 7-speed DCT automatic. The Jeep Compass 7-seater SUV will be the next product from the American brand in India. Once launched here, the new seven-seater Compass SUV will go up against the likes of the Skoda Kodiak, Volkswagen Tiguan Alspace, Toyota Fortuner and the Ford Endeavor, to name a few. Whether you agree or disagree with my views, I'd love to read your comments. Thanks for watching, and stay safe, everyone.